All right, Fishman. Wait, sorry, sorry, not Fishman. In my defense, it's not like you gave me a name when we met. Wait, really? Huh. No, no, I, I just... I thought I was being sarcastic when I called you Triton. Your parents had a sense of grandeur, didn't they? Nothing. I don't mean anything by it. Um, okay, so clearly I nailed it, and you were very close to the ship when we pulled up the fish, and that's how you got caught in the net. Why? Why would you be spying on us? Do you work for the Navy? What? Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if I came from the sea, I wouldn't trust us either. I get it. No. No, I mean, I've heard of people taking mermaids and showing them as oddities and things like that. Traveling medicine shows, that type of thing. But, um, I mean, they're never actually mermaids. I know because... Because they... They're monkeys with fish tails. It's... You, you can practically see the stitches. They're definitely... They're certainly not what you look like. I don't suppose there are any version of mermaids that look like little monkeys, are there? Okay, there you go. Then they're not actual mermaids. And I don't think anybody actually believes that they are. I, I did once see an alligator man named Jake. I thought he was pretty cool. But yeah, it was still just a, a monkey attached to a, an alligator. No! Oh, no, 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 They weren't alive. They weren't... Oh, my God. That would be... Oh, my God. What would that even look like? Oh, no. They weren't alive. They they were... Stuffed. They were taxidermied. They were... Stuffed? They... They they keep the skin and they fill the inside with sawdust and... Oh. Now that I'm hearing it out loud, it does sound horrifying. I, I Yeah, I, I can see why you wouldn't trust humans. We do some weird shit. Huh. Okay, well, we're getting off the subject, though. Um, what difference did it make if you could trust us or not? It, it, no trust is required for you to stay under the surface and for us to stay above it. Why were you spying on us if you're not trying to get information for someone else? Sorry, trying to figure out if we had a mermaid? <laughs> so in order to figure out if we had a mermaid, well, you ended up giving us yourself as a merman. Well done. Wait. No, not just any mermaid. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. And so... You think that she was captured by one of the ships? Uh, I wish I could say that it wouldn't happen, but clearly some people would be motivated if they saw a mermaid to um, bring her in. How long has she been missing? And so that's why you were frantic to get back to that place where we picked you up. I... I can only imagine how... how long this trip must have been for you, knowing that we were taking you further and further away from where she was last seen. It's truth, my men really did do it this time, didn't they? I'm... I'm sorry for what my crew did to you. Even more sorry. Because it's even bigger than I thought. Well, we will get you back. I, I swear it. Uh, but also, we're going to be in port, so we can ask around, right? Um, <laughs> you know, news of a real mermaid would travel far and wide. Especially a living mermaid. Especially... 
if she was alive. Um, yeah. And, and if not, uh, she, she will be. I'm sure she will be. Because, because a living mermaid would be more of a draw. A living mermaid would make more money. That's how I'm sure. But if something had happened, we will be able to find that out as well. A anything that looks like more than a, a monkey with a fishtail, it, it's going to be talked about. And whatever the situation is, it's it's better to know. Right? I'm sorry. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm sure I haven't told you anything that you haven't thought of. Except that well, while we did take you far away from where she was last seen, I am bringing you toward where we can probably get news. And if there's no talk of an exceptional mermaid out there somewhere, then, um, I, I think... I, I really think it's safe to assume that she hadn't been picked up in that case. Uh, that still leaves a mystery as to where she is, but... We can rule out. Fish napping. Uh, mer napping. Uh, sorry. Um... We will get information, Triton, one way or another. We'll, we'll know more once we pull into port. Look, um, uh, I don't know if this is, <laughs> if this, if this is a th thing for Mer, but, um, when, uh, when humans are upset, sometimes we, we em embrace each other. It, um, I don't know what it does, but an arm around your shoulder can feel like, like there's a limit to how much hurt and, and worry you can experience. Um, a hug is like a buffer between you and all of the painful and scary things. It, some, sometimes it helps. Um, um, and if not, um, sometimes for the other side of it, it makes it feel like you're doing something even if you can't do anything. So, um, would you like, uh, would you, would you mind if, if I gave you a hug? Yeah, just, okay, um, you put your hands right here on my waist and I'm gonna move my arms around your shoulders and um if you slide your hands toward each other just wrap them around my back like that yeah uh <laughs> I can feel your body relaxing a little bit. <laughs> it does work for you, doesn't it? <laughs> a little, I mean, I know it's still there, but... <sighs> Me too. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I should probably, I should probably have asked this before I... Uh, put my arms around you and let me pressed my body against you, but, um, hmm. who, who is, who is this, this person that we're, we're looking for? No, okay, not her name, but, like, who, 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 who is she to you? Is she, is she, is she, like, a wife or a girlfriend or a love interest or a friend or a family member or a uh, sister? <laughs> okay. All right. 
Oh, I shouldn't be laughing. That's not, I'm not laughing at your sister being me. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's very, it's very nice of you. And to be looking after your sister like this. No. No, I guess for you it is normal. But I promise you, I've got a ship full of people here who... who never had that. People who came to sea because there wasn't a lot left for them on land. So yeah. You... You... putting yourself in harm's way just to get word of what might have happened to her is it is a big deal even if for you it's just what you would do for you it was not even a thought that's pretty wonderful okay um hey take a look Over there, so you can just see the port. We'll be there soon. Let me take a look. Huh. I can see it. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well. Okay. This. This could be a coincidence, could be a coincidence, but, um, they're having a mermaid festival right now. And I've never heard of them having one before. <laughs> I, uh, I, th I think we're going to find out what happened to your sister. Oh, maybe. It, it might not be good news, but I don't know. That's a very merry looking town right now. That's not the kind of celebration you have just because some new oddity has rolled into town, some new stuffed carcass. I have a feeling. These people have seen a real-life mermaid. Emphasis on the life. <laughs> we have reason to hope, Triton. We have every reason to hope. Hey there, my delicious cupcakes! Some of you recognized the other day when I put out the mermaid story called How Did the Mermaid Lose Her Tail that that was going to be a tie-in to the Pirate Queen, and you were absolutely right and well-spotted. And those of you who did not listen to that, it was kind of a long one, and it didn't do exceptionally well. It didn't get a lot of clicks. It didn't get a lot of likes. It didn't get a lot of views. But I don't care. I'm actually really pleased with that one. I was really, I was really happy with that story. Um, Give it a listen. It's not mandatory for this story, but it ties in very nicely. And um, thank you to those who did, all of you who did listen to it, and all of you who liked and subscribed and and commented on it. You are you are wonderful. And so, also speaking of people who commented, Dan Gaming fan, thank you so much, and thank you again for the super thanks. You are so sweet. Also, uh, thank you to Art Lowe, who, in my Pal World server, is making sure that I am dressed and warm <laughs> because I was not uh, I'm, I was not leveling up my clothes until they looked good. <laughs> uh, he is my little hero, and um, he finally got me dressed, which is, is his accomplishment for the weekend. So, also, you know what? If you are a patron of mine. I will have the information up for my, it's, it's already in the Discord server, but I will post it on my Patreon, what the information is for logging into 
the Palworld server and also for the Minecraft server, please let me know if you are going to join the Minecraft server and you are not actually in the Discord server because I will need your handle so that I can whitelist you on there. We had some griefers, but we've we've made it a whitelist thing now. Anyway, um, also speaking of patrons, I've got new patrons. Thank you so much to Humble Brag, The Undead Toast, Blue Creeper 1905, Paradox, Gabriel, Blackbird, and Army Guy 007. It's so nice to have you with us. And of course, I always want to take a moment to recognize the special support I get from my bakers and pound cake tiers. Army Guy 007 again, Undead, The Undead Toast, Mr. Fabulous, Tiny the Tax Man, the FPS Player, Meryl, Inline Flaws, Mr. Rickles, Anand, Nick, Always Able, Lion in Winter, Infinite Moon, Old Bean UK, Kalua Bear, Forces, The Swaggy Llama, Art Low, Pierce Stalish, Tomberry Shuffle, uh, I, I almost skipped over Bellamy, and Christian Kaleapa. Thank you guys. And um, I love you. We're still listening. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention, your likes, and your comments, and your subscriptions. I hope you will all be as kind to yourselves as you are to me, and I will speak to you tomorrow. Although, um, some of you have noticed that when I say I'm going to speak to you tomorrow, I don't always speak to you tomorrow because I lose track of time and I forget things and I don't always post. So I'm sorry about that. I'm really, really sorry. But this time, yes, I will speak to you tomorrow, I think. Okay, bye.